Something that I'm struck by when I read these old papers, like J.J. Thompson's paper where he proposes that the cathode rays are free electrons, is not a super convincing paper. He makes a couple of attempts to demonstrate that it can't possibly be waves of the ether, and you're like, well, that doesn't seem totally right, but everybody accepted it. Then you look yeah. at Planck, the way that he solves the ultraviolet catastrophe, and he's like, well, they're quantized. Mm -hmm. And you read his autobiography, and he's like, I had no idea what the physical significance of that was, and I spent the rest of my life trying to figure it out. You look at Bohr when he modifies Rutherford's model of the planetary atom to be a quantized model, and the paper is bad. One of the big problems with orbitals is the fact that the electron, as it is in orbit, radiates energy. And so you should have this collapse of the electron into the nucleus. And what Bohr does to solve it, he's like, well, there's special stationary orbits where right. that doesn't happen. And yeah. everybody's just like, oh, okay, that's fine. Uh -huh. 